good morning my beautiful friends i know i look a bit cray cray this morning um it is monday i didn't vlog over the weekend i'll update you in a moment but just got some pimple stuff on some oil on my skin i swear every time i get a cold my skin just like freaks out so i'm finally feeling quite a lot better today i know i sound a bit like raspy right now but usually like you know once i drink some water and stuff like that it should come right um i feel like probably 90 percent today like i'm pretty much better i've just got a bit of a like itchy cough throat situation like just that really annoying in part i want to ask too does anyone else break out when they get a cold because like i swear i always do i got one like on my nostril two there and one there and i'm just not stoked about it as if like having a cold isn't bad enough but yeah, this weekend I just took it real easy because obviously I'm still trying to get all my work done for Tomorrowland. So I knew like if I pushed myself too hard on the weekend and drew out my sickness, because that's what happens to me if I like start doing heaps of intense stuff and don't rest up properly and look after myself when I'm sick, it just like the cold just lingers. So I'm glad I did nothing. That's why I pretty much didn't vlog because like I literally did nothing. I think I ate like three times over the whole weekend because I was just like like not even paying attention to life i was just like blobbing me and hamish played lots of Fortnite. um we went to drop us some stuff at his mum's and hang out at his mum's for a bit um what else did we do i can't think like literally nothing you guys nothing watched some tv walking dead like slept in rested napped just got better you know i know hamish did some music studying and stuff but yeah i did like f all um but it was exactly what i needed and today i'm feeling a lot more like energized i had no energy over the weekend and today i feel like i've actually got some energy back so i'm gonna film and i'm really excited i want to do another zodiac look um i'm down to uploading two videos a week on my beauty channel from this week so i'm gonna probably do mostly tuesdays and fridays Unless I feel like doing a different day, I don't know. So yeah, I'll upload tomorrow and now I should be sweet as long as I can like film maybe like four or five videos this week. So that's what I'm going to try and do. I haven't even put up my previous um, Zodiac look yet, the Aries one, but it will be coming of course. All the videos that you've seen me filming, see my voice is already starting to get a little bit less raspy I feel. All of the videos that you've seen me pre-film, yeah, they'll be up very soon like before and during my europe trip and i'm trying to get enough film so i've got a couple for when i get back from europe just in case i'm jet lagged sick or anything like that because sometimes i get sick you know long haul flights like i haven't recently i was like trying to think i think the last time i had a really bad cold was like literally a year ago after vidcon when i was at vidcon australia which i think was this week this like past weekend in australia was it something like that um that's when I was last like super sick from a cold, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, often it's when I'm traveling. So <laughs> hopefully I don't end up getting sick again, but I'm sure it'll be fine, you know, just to be super safe. So I don't really have much to update you on from the weekend because like I said, we did nothing. On Saturday morning, I felt a little bit okay. So I did a little bit of cleaning and stuff, but also look, the couches are gone. <laughs> Because my mum is um, selling her house. And so, don't remind the carpet. That's where freaking Lloyd ripped up the carpet um, when we first moved in when he was a little puppy. My mum's selling her house in Rangatia. The room looks so big with nothing in it. Um, and so she asked if she could just like use our couches to homestage her house. Because obviously it's empty. Um, she doesn't actually live out there in that house. She's like been renting it out. But now she wants to sell it and she needed to dress it up a bit. So she's got them and then we're getting our couches delivered on Wednesday I think so we've just got no couches for a couple days but I'll show you them as soon as they come in hey baby hey baby you under the heat pump you yeah. are so I just realized I completely forgot to insert this like five minute clip into my last vlog so I'll put that in now it's just about the beach house I was just reading some comments on my new vlog the beach house announcement one and thank you guys so much for all of your amazing comments I'm so happy that you guys are stoked as well that's my elbow by the way um, I'm so happy that you guys are excited as well and use on a, on on the land. So I had a couple of questions I noticed come up a few times. One was where did we buy a beach house? We bought it in Papamoa Beach, so in between Papamoa and um, the Mount near Tauranga. And um, people asking when are we going to move in? So it's not going to be our main house. It's just going to be like a holiday home. So we'll go there, you know, some weekends, summer holidays, and stuff like that. Um, or just when we feel like getting away but we will start getting furniture and stuff like straight away obviously we go to tomorrowland for a few weeks soon i'm in actual tomorrowland for one two 
just over three weeks <clears throat> or like three weeks and a bit including travel we obviously can't really start doing anything too much until we get back but yeah we're gonna deck it out with furniture and stuff when we can and decorate it and everything and we'll just use it and then in December that's when they're gonna fix it um I think I don't know if we can use it at the same time while they fix it but all of our stuff will be fine on the inside because we're mostly getting like outside stuff done and the windows and that so we can just move the furniture and out of the way and everything I think we'll like double glaze the house and just do some renovations and stuff as well um, while we're doing lots of work on it. The land in Palmy, that's where we will build our dream house. So we'll have, in a couple of years, we'll start building in Palmerston North. Um, I don't know when we're gonna do the plans and everything. I'm hoping to like find a good architect soonish and like get some plans drafted up so that, you know, when I've saved up some more money and everything, we can just like start straight away. I just like try to do as much with like cash rather than mortgages as I possibly can because then I'm not paying as much money to the bank. So I just want to save as much as I can between now, like because we've just spent heaps of money on the beach house and the land and the repairs and everything you know save up and then start building so that's why we're waiting quite a while but yeah i'm so excited and i really want to have basically like a room as big as this lounge as my filming studio so that i can have a couple of different areas have lots of storage and everything and then i want like another room maybe as big as like my bathroom at the moment because i've got all of my makeup to donate in there and then i have all of my packages and my spare room just all over the floor so i want like a little office size room for all of my makeup to donate um, and all of my new packages and inwards and stuff like that so that I can like have floor to ceiling racks done up and just have everything organized so that it's not like littering the house like it is right now like there's no way to keep it tight there's nowhere for it and also it spills over into like my beauty room it spills over into the hallway cupboard and the other cupboards and my bedroom and it's just like there's shit everywhere so I just want like an office with all of that stuff like all of the spare makeup and packages and things and then maybe like a bedroom um for my office so like my computer and then have it like set up real nicely it's just like a chill out room as well like have like a um tv and a couch and just make it really cozy and comfy and a nice atmosphere to like work in so i'll have like a separate studio and editing room that's why i don't know if you guys knew this but this is why i edit in the lounge rather than in my filming room because otherwise i feel really claustrophobic like being in this tiny little room all day and then like just being in the same house all day at least when i like film in my room and then edit in the lounge and then like hang out in my bedroom and stuff like this like i'm moving around the house and i don't feel as like squashed into one place so i'm pretty lucky that i can do that but, you know, when we build a house in the future, I'd rather not have a computer just sitting in the middle of the lounge like I do here. It's not ideal. So, yeah, that's my plan. Like, kind of having, like, a three-room system. Little office space for storage. A little, um, well, not little, like, just a normal bedroom size bedroom for my office and editing and just relaxing and a space to do my social media and stuff. And then have a nice big space like this that I can have. Um, some areas with like natural lighting, have like a studio set up with a backdrop for my Instagram videos and just like have everything set up really nicely so it just works really well. That's kind of my plan. So I know I don't really vlog a lot on weekends but as soon as we start doing all the beach house stuff I will definitely be vlogging that. Like on the weekends when we go furniture shopping and homewares shopping and all of that kind of thing I will definitely um, yeah, show you guys. I know usually I'm quite quiet on the weekends but that's just because like I do not much. <laughs> like I just relax and chill out and it's not really entertaining for you guys to watch. And also I purchased a PlayStation. It's actually on pre-order. They've got like none in New Zealand at the moment so um that will come hopefully soon and i want to start doing some more twitch streaming and i want to start doing more makeup streaming but i'm just pre-filming at the moment but i really miss streaming so much like live streaming probably one of my favorite things to do but i have to kind of put my actual content like my job content in front of that because that's how we pay the bills but yeah that'll be fun what i was getting at is it'll be fun to like live stream on the weekend sometimes when i'm like playing games with my friends because um me and a couple friends play fortnite together and stuff and i know not all of you guys are into that but those of you that are it'll be cool to like hang out with you guys and you guys can watch me and stuff and it's just another way to interact with you guys when i'm not like hard out vlogging on the weekends but yeah like i said i will be vlogging on the weekends more often like i might upload them on monday like not upload them on the weekend but i'll be vlogging on the weekend like making footage <laughs> so now i think i'm gonna do a iced coffee i've got heaps of dry shampoo in my hair that's why it looks funny colors because i haven't rubbed it in yet i'm just kind of letting it simmer <laughs> and i'll do my hair soon and then film and this afternoon i also want to just do a couple more thumbnails 
for videos that are edited. I edited one on the weekend. There's another thing I did the weekend. I just did a little bit of work. I want to clean up my filming room. And this week I also need to clean up the house a little bit more. We did, like I said, we did some on the weekend. But I need to clean up the house a little bit more for Michaela and Bevan for when they house it. I don't want it to be a mess. I told Michaela she can use my beauty room and stuff if she wants. So I want to make sure that's nice and tidy for her. I was like, you need to like take advantage of this bedroom when you stay. Like, do your makeup in there. And she was like, oh my god, no. I was like, do it. She felt bad. I was like, do it. Like, this is everyone's dream. <laughs> Not everyone's dream, but you know what I mean. How many of you guys would love to get ready in my filming room? <laughs> and now I think the vlog is already like 10 minutes long. But oh well. I'm doing about a teaspoon and a half. I haven't taken my medication. Shit, I need to do that before I have this. I need to go take my thyroid medication, which I have no idea how well it's going. Again, I'm getting blood tests done. Once they get back from Europe to see how it all is. But my weight overall since doing the thyroid medication has dropped like two kilos, which is like a lot for me because like I said, doesn't matter how many calories I eat a day, literally a thousand calories and do that over two weeks and not drop anyway. It's an improvement. It's been half an hour now, so my medication is well and truly soaked in, so taste test tastes amazing like always. I could actually probably have it a bit stronger, but I need some advice. So I got this when we went to the Maldives um, and I want to take it to my beach house and it's hand painted by the team at, you know, Kanu, what was it? Kanuhura, the resort we went to. I'm just wondering what is something I can like spray on this probably would be the best thing for me. Like is there some kind of spray on sealant I can get a spotlight or something that will not wreck the paint? That'll just keep it clean because it's already got a couple little marks on it. Those happened like over there, not at my house because I've had it in like plastic. But um, first off, is there any way I can like clean this off without ruining the paint? And then is there a sealant I can put on here to make it nice and waterproof and like dust proof and everything? So like it doesn't get damaged because yeah, I want to hang it up at my beach house. Which I just got news, we have to actually go there on Thursday. Before settlement because we settle on Friday and um, we need to just check the house and make sure all of the chattels and everything are all good. Um, we thought that our real estate lady would be allowed to do that, but no, we have to do it ourselves. So <laughs> I was like, should we just like accept as is? I was like, no, we better go see it. So that's one less day of filming, but that's okay. And on Friday, I get my hair touched up before I go away. And then next week, I've got another nail appointment, but that's fine. And I've got a little bit of mail here. I just want to open up real quick. Just in case there's anything I want to use in my video today. So first we have this dramatically different hydrating jelly by Clinique, which I'm excited to try because I really like the... Um, gel what's it called i've forgotten already you know the pink one that i love the pink clinique in the little like pot tart gave us this butter me up it's butter cup butter me up like butter tray i haven't looked inside yet i'm assuming there's something inside yep inside we had some lipsticks cute little paper packaging and i have no idea like what like range they are this one's called rosy view let's have a look Super cute. And then the final thing is from Huda Beauty. It is the Loose Powder um, collection. How do I get into this? I'm so excited for this because um, my other favorite is the Kat Von D one. So I'm looking for a replacement. Heaps of colors here. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm going to break a nail. So this is the palest one. Sugar cookie. Or it might be translucent. I don't know. Um, and they're just setting powders to bake. And they're huge. Huge, huge. I wonder what color I would use. Probably one of the, maybe these two, cupcake or pound cake perhaps. This is pound cake. It looks pretty good. It's more of a yellow undertone. And then cupcake's a little bit more pinky, which reminds me more of Petal by Kat Von D. But I like both colors. I'll try both and just see which one I prefer. This 4.30 on the dot. It's so dark. Um, I've already like messed up my makeup because I like took some off and stuff. Um, so you'll see it on... Instagram and when I upload it, this room is so bare. <laughs> I literally just finished filming, it's 4.31, so oh, I'm gonna import all this footage and do my thumbnails and stuff like I had to do, and then I'll probably just eat later, because it's like too close to dinner time now, like if I eat now, it's just gonna ruin my appetite, and yeah, so we're just gonna do it this way. I'm just like lying in bed editing, because we don't have couches, and for some reason it popped up. I don't know if someone's logged into my Nana's Facebook or what, but it just popped up saying, Jocelyn Martin just joined Messenger. Um, be the first to send a welcome message or a sticker. 
and like I just started scrolling back through our messages because we're like it's her account that would messaged on in the past and I'm like <laughs> this making me so sad I miss her so much <laughs> I some messages like hi darling what do you want for your birthday and I'm like nothing she says I have to get you something it's the same every year and I'm like okay how about a book how about a movie ticket and she's like okay <laughs> I miss her so much. Like when I did my cousin's um ball makeup. And she's like, isn't she beautiful Shani? I miss her so much. And she said, um, really enjoyed your birthday evening. Um, I think this was right before she got sick. And she said, have you finished your scratchy? And I said, yep, I won $8 and a free scratchy. And she said, wow, don't spend it all at once, lol. <laughs> that sounds bad but I haven't thought about her in a couple weeks like I have because I was like spending time with green dad like she's like I've thought of her but what the heck oh my god my makeup's like running down my face um but I haven't thought about like the fact that she's gone forever if you know what I mean Oh my god, I'm a mess. Like, obviously, I know she's gone forever, but when I think about her, I don't think about that. I think of, like, just memories. Whereas now I'm like, oh my god, she's gone. This freaking pumble. Anyway, I'm just gonna get a Nescenda for dinner because I feel like a cheat meal. The Hamish was like, I don't wanna leave because it's cold, and so we're getting pizza, and I'm stoked. House pizza I haven't had it in so long. Eat all our said, so I ate Louis. Oh my god, I'm serious. Am I 80? Hey. Well, he gets all hypo. When I pat his face. What? Who's that? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? This is Zeus's toy, you dickhead. Why do we steal his stuff? Oh god. <laughs> That's what I get for throwing the toy <laughs> through the camera and not looking where I'm throwing. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi, B. We just played Fortnite until 11.40 p.m. Whoops. Look how trendy my hair's looking. I had the headset on. Time to wash out my makeup. Do I have any clean face halos? <laughs> Look at that. Good night.